This is uh, Don the Fat Bee Man, and I'm still freezing down here in Georgia. I've got a gallon here of sugar water. It's a little bit better than uh, a one-to-one, -one, and I'm putting a treatment on in the winter time, and I've done some in the fall to treat nosema or a preventative. And this is what I do. I use this. This is a very good antifungal, antibacterial, it's tea tree oil, and tea tree oil will knock out nosema. I put it in as a preventative, and I'm not losing hives. Now, you can buy Fumadel B, you can buy Fumagellin, and for $45 or $50, that's going to treat five or maybe ten hives. That's $45 to $50, tea tree oil, natural essence of oil. You can treat 500 hives. And if you watch my videos, I've done the boric acid. I've had a lot of people say it knocks the, be the beetles down, it kills them. It doesn't cost you much. You don't have to spend money to save money. This here, if you buy it, put it in your hive, and you don't uh, have no uh, good effects from it, you're not out nothing. Buy a small one-ounce bottle and try it. But I'm up here in the country, and I'm getting ready to treat these bees, and, I'm, and this here I'm going to put on eight hives. This is Fat Bee, man. I'm out here in the bee yard. I'm going to put some of this tea tree oil and sugar water in here. And these pans here will probably hold a good gallon, but there's no ne it's not necessary to fill them. This is 52 degrees outside, so you don't need to fill them up. You want the bees to be able to clean this stuff up in just a short period of time. And you don't want to put too thin of a syrup in here because you'll end up getting a lot of moisture inside the hive and moisture in this hive will kill that hive faster than cold water, cold uh, temperatures. Now we'll move on to the next one. As you can see these are different colors. Now, we got one here. It's still got a little bit of feed. I'm going to add the tea tree oil to it. Now with that much syrup I haven't been over here and fed these bees probably in a good two and a half to three weeks. So evidently they've got enough feed in here. Yeah, they're, they're not starving. I'm putting the tea tree oil on as just a, as a preventative. Now uh, we got, got bees right here up here. Now what happened here is we got a lid that is warped. Uh, it's probably just stuck up on one corner. Probably got in a hurry. Now I'm just going to put in not quite a pint, just enough to get them a little bit of that treatment in there. Now here's one that was fed uh, probably four weeks ago and I was using a two, two to one type sugar mixture and it wasn't dissolved enough and this is just dried out sugar. I'll take it and put a little water in it and then set it out and let the bees clean it up. Now this is another one that was I believe that feeder there was leaking. Alright, I'm take this off. You always want to make sure your feeders are sitting on there good. I've got a little bit of a warpage in this one. We'll build these things up. 15, 20 or more at a time and they, they sit outside and they get a little warpage to them. Let's see how this one's doing. This one's pretty good. Still got a little bit of uh... Now this here's an old cow ant. There's one ant here. Now you notice there's no ants in here and I've got sugar in here. Put just a little bit of uh, your cinnamon in here and it'll keep them ants out. Fifty-two degrees, and I'm freezing. Ah, uh, look at there. We got a lot of sugar in here, too. They're trying to get up to it. I'll have to come back and change out some of these here. Now, this is a warped lid. Let me check that lid. 
Yep, see that there? Lids warped. They smell that oils in there and they come up. That won't come up, didn't it? Tim, my photographer, you're going to have him running around here chasing these bees. You can see they're flying at 52 degrees. And it's been cold and windy all night. It don't take much of this stuff here. You just want to get a little bit into the bees. This is the cheapest way that I've found that's cost effective and, and really does a good job. And this can be done in the fall, it could be done with honey on, it leaves no taste in the honey. And along with this treatment and other treatments, you can figure out which one you want to go with and which is the most effective for you. Now if you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to donate because we're making the videos here and it costs a little money. And this here is my... Uh, this is my fuel here, actually, an empty thing. Cooking oil, this is what I run my, this is my uh, French fry mobile. I go around, I service my, my bee yards with. It might be fancy, but I run on cooking oil. And I just clean this out with some soapy water, and I use it to carry my sugar water. I'm going to do a whole series of essence of oils, and they'll be broke up into different sections. And just keep watching the webpage, we'll be posted on there. Thanks for watching.